Yeah, it was um, you know, first and foremost, happy our guys got to win. And, you know, I thought we've had a really good week, and, and, and this league's challenging. Um, we've lost two games already this year at the exact same score, 63-62, and, and could have won both of them. And, um, you know, sometimes things don't look as bad as what they are. And, uh, you know, we had to realize, you know, that we could fix a lot of things, do a lot of things better, um, but we weren't a bad team. And tonight, I thought we got some energy. The ball went through the net. Um, you know, we scored, um, you know, at a much better pace. And, you know, there's going to be nights where we got to try to win the game like we did last Thursday or this uh, the Thursday a couple of days ago at, at South Alabama where we don't score and don't make a lot of shots and had our chances there and easily could have won that one. And tonight, the ball's going in. We got to win games like this too. So um, uh, we're learning. We're work in progress. We'll keep getting better. I got faith in this team. I got faith in these players. Um, but this league's difficult. And I think right now, you know, we're through six games and, and we're three and three. And I think we might just be one game out of first or, or maybe two. I don't know if somebody got five wins. Yeah, so this league's going to be crazy. And, um, but, uh, but we're going to keep getting better. And I, I like what we're going to do. And hopefully this sets us off when we get on a roll. Yeah, I mean, did you like the looks you were getting the last game? And did, were you kind of feeling like no of auto other guys if they kept getting those looks you were going to have a night like this eventually yeah i mean you know so noah is a career 40 percent three-point shooter pretty close to it and when noah Ferdell is open am i i would be out of my mind tell him not to shoot it and he shot the exact same shots he shot on thursday and it, it you know people don't get into psychology and everything else but you know it, it's doing the right thing over and over again and the results will take care of themselves and Noah shot the same shots on Thursday he shot tonight. Vado shot the same shots he shot on Thursday he shot tonight. I went through, I met with those guys. Out of the 17 shots on Thursday, I graded them one and a half bad shots. One and a half. All right. Tonight I got to go through and look at it, but very similar. And um, it, I'm never going to be a negative coach. If guys can't shoot, I don't want them to shoot. But when guys can shoot, they're going to shoot the basketball. And, and I'm going to live with it. I'm, I got their back. And they're going to know I got their back, and they're going to shoot it every time they're open. Yeah, you guys, kind of going off that, what is it like to actually see it go down, especially, you know, they talked about, you know, getting the gym yesterday and kind of working on that. But, you know, what is it like to actually see it go down and, you know, kind of get that momentum from those? Well, both those guys, you know, have been shooting the ball great all week. And, and one thing with Vado, you have to remember, um, you know, we played Comp and State on December 21st. And, and, and Vado, you know, really didn't practice or play in games for, for about 14, 15 days there. He came back. He lost eight pounds after getting sick. He's trying to come back, find his rhythm, and get back playing again. But during that time, we only practiced once or twice. This kind of was the first full week we had to practice with Vado where he was able to be uninhibited, go full speed. His body's coming back. His, his rhythm's coming back. And um, he didn't play poorly on Thursday. He didn't make shots. Um, tonight he played really good, um, made shots and did everything. And same deal with them other guys. I thought um, we had nice spurts there. We had good energy, and we needed it. Um, you know, they gave us some challenges on the defensive end. Our defense wasn't quite as good because they did, got some guys, some good players that can make shots. So um, we needed more points than what we've been getting, and then fortunate um, for us, we got them tonight. I guess kind of talking about Noah, not only on the offensive end, but on the defensive end, drawing charges and grabbing those rebounds. I guess, like, when you got a hold of Noah from South Dakota State, what were defensive efforts like this something that you anticipated? Yeah, so uh, a lot of people try to attack Noah, and we actually love it. Um, he can play defense, and he is tough. Um, you know, usually he tries to make it a man on man battle where he won't back down and take a charge, but he, you know, made it play with his mind tonight. Usually he'll stand his chest up on people, but. Um, you know, he was really good on defense tonight. He's been good on defense. And he doesn't have to make shots to contribute to this team. When he makes shots, it's even a bonus. But he can do other things. He's, he's one of our best rebounders. He goes in there and he flies around and he don't care about contact. And, you know, he, he guards and he does other things. And he takes care of the ball, doesn't turn it over. So um, if he makes shots, it's a bonus. But he's still a good player and if he doesn't. Yeah, I think it'll be different when it's at Georgia Southern. Um, you know, tonight I was focused on our guys and, and I focused on our team, and I, I knew we needed to see a positive result. Um, we couldn't just play good and not finish the whole thing out. I know we needed to um, kind of end this thing and get going in the right direction. 
but um, I got great memories at Georgia Southern. Um, you know, a, a nice seven years there. And but when the game started, nothing, and even my prep was nothing. Now, when I go down there, honestly, it'll be it'll be different. You know, it's it's a place I spent seven years and seeing more familiar faces and all that. So um, um, tonight was business as usual down there. I'll probably have to. Um, you know, deal with a lot more and it'll probably feel a lot different. Go ahead, Shane. Yeah, um, in some of these recent games, it seems like you've had some of your more veteran guys are just starting to get up there in minutes, you know, playing 25 or more. Talk, Mezzi, some guys. Are you getting to the point in the season where you're you're recognizing like how you're going to manage and use the rotation and use guys minute wise? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think different games are going to dictate different things. And, you know, I look at some of these other teams in the league and, and they've had their starting five, or who they think they're starting five, available every game. And, you know, I found out with Terrence Edwards he wasn't going to play 30 minutes for this game. I thought he was going to play. And he played really good the, the other night. And Alonzo Sule and, like, some other guys. So, like, right now, like, we're still trying to find ourselves. We're still trying to have an offense identity, a defense identity. And you know, we've done good things along the way. But um, we'll keep creating that, and we'll keep getting better and better throughout the year. And, look, the best I think the best is yet to come for this team. Like, we're, we're doing some things well. Um, but at the same time, you know, we're still kind of finding our way. And um, that's okay. Right now it's, it's middle of January, and – you know, it's going to be a one-bid league. The league's um, beating each other up right now. Um, we got to get on a roll. We got to play good basketball at the right time. And I think we will. I think we will. Um, I got faith in, in everybody in that locker room. And I'm, there's probably not a single person that you would point out and say, like, you know, this guy doesn't belong in the rotation or anything like that. But when you are missing somebody, is there any part of you that's like, okay, well, that takes that decision off my plate. I'm going to have these nine or ten guys and we're going to – Go with it. Well, I haven't had that option, the, the first option you talk about, where I have everybody and everybody's healthy. And, um, I mean, even right now, like the trainer comes to me, you know, day before and two days before, and we got multiple guys on minute restrictions. And so I'm, I'm juggling that and because they're dealing with current injuries but still being able to play and other things. So um, you, you we're going to have to adjust throughout the year. I, and I do think we'll find ourselves a little bit more and. Like, like, for example, I, I thought Tock's been playing well. He was playing really good at South Alabama. He got three um, really tough, bad foul calls against him. But he was plus 14 in the game the other day. And so we were running offense through him, and, and things changed when he wasn't in there. So, um, you know, veteran guys, Vado's just coming back. You know, Vado's trying to get back to himself, and he's been dealing with a lot. So we're not how we're supposed to be, which is okay. And, but we got to get back to work, and I think we're on the right track. I guess about Terrence, what does his status kind of look like going forward? Are you optimistic you'll have Terrence on Thursday? Yeah, he was close to being on play tonight. Um, you know, it was uh, – he actually went through practice yesterday, limited, and we were always anticipating him playing. And, um, you know, the, the guy stepped up around him. And uh, I, it's not season ending. Hopefully he's back even in practice on Monday or Tuesday. Just for Vado and, and Noah, you know, after these last three games, or the three really wasn't falling for for a lot of guys. What is it like to you know finally see it go down and kind of have the night you guys were able to have tonight? Um, I mean, it's just good that we were kind of like back to ourselves. Um, it grows confidence in us. Um, you know, we hit shots like that. It helps the team out. So I mean, it feels good for sure. You know, um, I think it really comes to like having confidence and just getting back to ourselves is a big thing. And just you know, just like we put the work in and. Uh, getting in the gym more and more and just keep putting the work in and then hopefully it just pays off and just having confidence is what switch. And what does the last week kind of look like for you, Noah, you know, having two games without one going down, you know, to kind of, you know, what have you been doing and things like that and how do you kind of get a mindset to go out there tonight and kind of just shoot and, you know, be confident behind that? Um, I would say, like, well, that's one of the reasons I came to school is uh, Coach B brought us in and he just told us, like, if I tell you to stop shooting, that's when I lose confidence in you. But, like, he like want he has like more like he he said he was pissed off that he has more confidence in us than ourselves. So then I just got in the gym and locked in and uh, just like trusted my sh stuff and then it worked out. So. And then I believe on was it yesterday, yeah. Coach? Uh, uh, me and Coach put basically got up shots with us um, with me and Noah, and that kind of just shows you know he wants us to do better and he believes in us for sure. 
giving us some pointers because he claims he was a good shooter back in the day. So. <laughs> 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 and talk kind of along the same lines when you you miss one at the buzzer a couple of nights ago and you come out tonight and it's you know you kind of set the tone early um being one of the most more experienced guys being kind of through the wars is that something you kind of look at yourself to be the guy to do that uh yeah just as far as that uh just next play mentality as far as you know the other night and i definitely uh had to set the tone and um just to make sure we get get a win tonight. Obviously coming off three straight losses, um, a win was, you know, probably wanted by you guys a lot. So how do you kind of embrace that? And how did the, how did the team, like, embrace going into a game where you felt like y'all needed to win? Um, I mean, we just got to keep moving forward. And just like I said um, in the interview a long time ago, just one game at a time, really. Um, in this conference, we know we're going to be in a dog file probably every game. Um, we just got to be ourselves, be poised, and just show we can be the top dog in this league. How pumped up was Terrell coming into tonight, going up against his brother? Um, it was it was fun. Uh, just like when he played his dad, um, you know, we all don't get a chance, you know, to play against our relatives as much. Um, it was fun as well, especially when he got a bucket on him. Uh, I believe that was good. And we seen each other, them two uh, smiling and talking to each other after that. So it was real good yeah, I to mean, be a part of, basically. There's never a moment where Terrell is not jumping up and down and going crazy. So, so. And then Noah, how's the how's the lip feeling? Uh, it looks good. Uh, they want me to get some <laughs> stitches, but um, it'll be fine. Like, I don't know. Weird question. <laughs> <laughs> he talking about some weird question. <laughs> yeah, for y I mean, you guys all are veterans. When you see a guy like Xavier who you know didn't get as many minutes here the last couple of games when you guys have everybody available and then he's called on again tonight and he makes a big play kind of kind of sparked a run for you guys just what do you see out of a guy like that who kind of hey. takes the minutes that he gets and uh, excels? I mean, if you y'all been to every our practices he's always the energy guy um he brings it every day uh and that's kind of he i mean motivate us to be honest with you and he made the play he hyped us up um i mean when a guy like that comes in the game we know he's going to make big plays and he has a lot of confidence in himself um but like uh, you know he, He's a freshman. He talks a lot, a little bit, but like, man, I, I like his energy for sure. He, it's like I would say one thing about him is like his energy is just unwavering every day. He's the same person, and like you can trust he's gonna like you. That he's one person you can trust is gonna give us all every day, and that's huge for a freshman. Yeah, he's a dog. He's, right. he's a dog. Yeah, like I'll take him any day.